Hey everyone, it's Base Junkie transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video and well, finally back with a new unboxing video because I received mail recently, uh, this time coming in from Poland once again. Pick a small little envelope and you might recognize the stamp already if you've been on my channel for a while. So this comes in from the Gustav Records label, which has been sorting me out with like stuff for years actually. And for those who've been new to my channel, like subscribing after the latest like Final Community Threat Response video. Hello out there, nice to meet you. Uh, glad you're here. This is a label that stems from Poland, actually focusing on Polish music of all sorts. So they've been unearthing stuff from the past that has been like never recognized in the Western world or like in other countries than Poland. They have done new stuff and like a little bit of everything in there, some jazzy stuff, some post-punk stuff, and there are some punky stuff, and there are some neo-cosmic as well. So they have a wide range of, uh, well, styles they feature, but the basic um, theme is music from Poland, and they bring that to uh, the world, actually. And before we go into this one, which has been sitting here for a few days, um, just a few news to share. Uh, for all those who haven't seen that and like because this is like dealing with the Polish label I've been doing like an interview thing for the Polish magazine Undertone Music and uh, this is linked down there in the description box as well. They are based in Poland as well but have like a big branch in South America right now so they, the, the girl who interviewed me actually came from Venezuela so she's been shooting the questions over and they are like expanding rapidly and they have done an interview with me like a few weeks ago this is linked down there and uh, recently i have done like a mixed cast episode for the amatori music crew from berlin which are actually italian guys based in berlin which i've reposted on my soundcloud as well soundcloud is down there as well to f uh, for all those who are interested in my late latest radio shows and dj mixes and stuff and uh, more news have it that I'm gonna have like a new show coming up on Cutter's Choice Radio in London, which will be aired on like 15th of May. That's a Monday at I guess 2200 London time, I guess, which makes it like 2300 uh, European time, like Central European time, focusing on the sound of the Beta Zephyr parties I'm doing with Herr Brand actually for like more than a decade. and. Another new thing to come is that we had a request to do another Beta Zafal party in Hamburg uh, once again at the Nacht Asyl Club, which came in yesterday and I've sent all the press material out and I've sent all the flyers out to them today. So the next Beta Zafal in Hamburg is about to happen on 9th of June, where we'll be playing like post-punk, industrial, electro-punk, synth-pop, minimal wave, all that kind of stuff from vinyl only in Hamburg, like as a DJ team with like each DJ playing for 30 minutes and then we'll have a changeover and stuff. We've been doing that for like 10 years or so. So this well, more than 10 years, 12, maybe even longer. And so this will be like before the summer pops up really a like nice little thing to do. So glad to be back at the Nachtasyl again, which is like Hamburg's prettiest and like most underrated location, I guess. But uh, now enough announcements. Let's dive into this like envelope here, which is, as I said, pretty lightweight. So I expect this to be like a one CD thing actually. And I might be right because, um, well, opening this reveals only one CD. And uh, yeah, the Gustav Records label have been like sending me stuff, I guess the latest in February, I guess. So I think I receive like four to six packages a year from them with their new releases. So they have been up in the release scale actually or schedule, not scale. And this is one that is scheduled for 19th of May, which is, oh, I'm going to butcher names, but uh, let's have a look here at first. This is the press sheet, actually. And there's info on the back as well. So I won't read that at all because uh, this will be too much, but I will skim through this with like a little bit, or uh, to extract like a little bit of information. And this is actually a trio, uh, Otwinowski, Sikorsky and Witkowski, which are supposedly the last names of the artists involved. Uh, the title is Spalona Siemia, or however you pronounce this. So uh, apologies, I'm not Polish, but I guess you guys from the Gustav Records label know. Uh, Gustav Records, uh, well, 
catalog number is not stated here, but due for release on 19th of May. A trio is a perfect composition for broadly understood improvised music, sufficient in terms of minimum and generally reflecting to the maximum that the musicians want to convey to the listener. Okay, we got a trio, which is interesting, improvising music, improvised music. Also interesting, uh, there is a statement here that this is not classic free jazz or free improv, but they are like going beyond these frames, touching noise, avant-garde, industrial or even metal. So uh, whatever this is, this seems to be like extreme stuff. Uh, Scorched Earth is the translation of the title, which is in Polish, Spalonia Ziemia, or however um, this is pronounced, I uh, would say. They would say that it is burning or even hot earth. So scorched is like a, a term that is for me as a German probably associated with World War II, like uh, burn everything down, destroy everything and leave no like uh, re reusable um, earth or land behind. So uh, or like dev uh, leave devastated earth behind, like so no one can occupy this again. So and um, this is an association I have like as a German immediately when I heard and hear about that word or that phrase. Um, definitely Polish improv, um, spontaneous compositions, uh, author's attention is focused on both creation with the sound and sound creation. So everyday objects, but also other um, like instruments involved. There is like bass, clarinet and drum and probably a lot of electronic stuff too, um, I won't read into this. And the track titles are very interesting because they re um, involve some characters um, that are not showing up on a, like, when you type them re on a regular, like those triangles here in track five and track six, maybe. So um, and the names that have written about the na band here, like there are a few like um, quotes here from Mikolaj Raschka, which also has been releasing on the label a while ago, I remember that name, and here it's, it looks beautiful, if, not that scorched, it's more like an ocean or wave, I guess, or like probably mountains, not too, not too sure. So this is a kind of abstract, but, and also darkish artwork, which comes with it, and we got the back with 11 tracks and a 44 minutes runtime, marked as a promo as usual with that kind of like gold golden marker thing. So this is definitely a non-resellable copy, but I don't uh, resell copies anyway, because, uh, well, I'd like to build up a huge archive of music and I have always done since I've been reviewing music, which I started in 1997, I guess. So here's the uh, inside of the CD, triple fold out, here's the CD in itself and um, how it looks. There is instruments listed on there as well in the back, so or like in the inside, so there is five string hybrid bass, four string acoustic fretless bass, radio, MK2 soundbox, dexaphone, what the fuck is a dexaphone? Preparation, space clarinet, pocket trumpet, baritone sax, clarinet, live electronics, a drum set, electroacoustic preparations and live electronics, so like a kind of complicated trio setting, I guess, but interesting and uh, probably very noisy. So I'm going to review this on my website, NightStyles.de, within the next weeks, I'd say, just because, uh, well, like a lot of stuff sitting here somewhere. Maybe you can see some of those stacks sitting here in the background, and it might take a while to go through all of that, but I'm going to review this for sure. The website is linked down in the description box as well, and now I'm going to go into editing mode because I want to get this video up as soon as possible. If you like this one, of course, there is another video popping up from my channel somewhere in the end card, and also there is a band camp, which for the new watchers and viewers, uh, which leads to my label group, and there is a lot of like vinyl and tapes you can purchase from there. Just mentioning it's Bandcamp Friday, but until the um, video is up, it might not be Bandcamp Friday anymore. So uh, whatever, I'm going into rambling mode, gonna go into editing mode right now. Uh, see you in the next one.